New at 530, baby monitors are the new target of cyber hackers, but police are struggling to catch up to this new crime. And it's not even clear at this point whether it is a crime. Now one Long Island congressman is asking authorities to take action. Files 1's Samantha Liebman explains. New mom Tara Butler Sahai stopped using her baby monitor after she learned that someone hacked a Houston family's monitor and yelled obscenities at their child earlier this month. It was very frightening to learn that something that we use every day that we think is going to help us to keep our baby safe is really being used as a tool by a degenerate hacker. And according to Congressman Steve Israel, this type of hacking is so new, it's not clear what laws apply to it or which agencies can investigate these cases. Israel has written to the Federal Trade Commission asking them to take action. So I want the FTC to determine once and for all who's got the jurisdiction and what can federal law enforcement uh, do about it. While Congressman Israel awaits a response from the FTC, he says that there are ways that parents can protect their baby monitors from being hacked. Experts say do not expose a monitor's camera to an outside network. Register your monitor with a manufacturer who can email you the latest firmware updates to install and notify you of threats. Use a firewall and consider defining which IP addresses are authorized to access the device. Use a unique password that contains a mix of upper and lowercase letters and numbers. Change your default port to 18100 or greater in range, hackers often target default ports. Periodically check access logs to see exactly which IP addresses are accessing the monitor. Advice Butler Sahai says she's going to try to use so she can get some things done around the house. So you want the monitor so you can listen to hear if there's anything going on in the room, if the baby's crying. In Locust Valley, Samantha Liebman, Fios One News.